opening the ballot marking device. Ramsey County uses the Heart Touch Writer as the ballot marking device to assist voters who need additional help when marking the ballot. This video will cover the procedures for opening and closing the unit on Election Day. The Precinct's Touch Writer will be delivered to the polling place with the rest of the polling place supplies before Election Day. The head judge is responsible for opening, closing, and managing the unit throughout the day. The head judge can assign two judges to help with the opening and closing of the device. To properly open the touch writer, follow the green opening instructions. When opening the touch writer, you will need to gather the following materials. The green opening instructions from the green folder, the touch writer and its stand, the printer and its table, the voting equipment keys, the power cord, and the official certification form for the ballot marking device. Set up the touch rider in the voting area, near the voting booths, and within the six-foot perimeter where only voters are allowed. First assemble the touch rider stand. Remove the stand from its carrying bag. Laying the table upside down on the ground, use the handle to lift and lock the leg stand into place. Now, attach the rear leg piece and the two individual front leg pieces to the stand. Press in the metal buttons to lock the legs into place. Then, flip the stand upright so it is in its proper position. Make sure the lock on the stand is forward. Then, set the touch rider on top of the stand, aligning the foot pads with the indentations. Push back the lock to secure the touch rider onto the stand. Attach the touch rider privacy screens. Then unlatch the hinges and open the touch rider case. Push the lid braces into place. Using the blue key, unlock the tablet from its compartment. Seat it in its cradle, tilt it back into place, and lock it into position. The touch rider will not operate unless the tablet is locked using the key. Next, remove the power cord from its compartment, assemble the power cord, and plug it into the back of the touch rider. Plug the other end into a power outlet. Before turning on the touch rider, you will need to set up the printer. Place the printer table next to the touch rider and place the black printer on the table. Plug the power cord into the printer and an outlet. Plug the square end of the printer cable into the printer and the USB end into the port on the back side of the touch rider. Turn the printer on using the power switch on the side of the printer. Once the printer is powered up, turn on the touch rider by pressing the red power button on the back side of the unit. Wait while the touch rider boots up. This may take up to 5 minutes. On the display screen, select Print Zero Report. The printout will begin automatically. Verify that the information on the zero report is correct. Then, verify that the seal number on the memory card case matches the number written on the official certification form for the ballot marking device. If the zero report information and memory card seal number are correct, select Open the Polls from the list on the display screen. Enter the Open the Polls password as listed on the opening instructions. The report will print automatically and the touch writer's display screen will be ready to accept access codes for use. Tear off the zero report and open the polls report from the touch writer and place the reports in the touch writer envelope. Election judges are required to test the touch writer to ensure the device is listing and pronouncing the same offices and candidates that are on the sample ballot. Make sure there is colored touch writer paper in the printer. The colored touch writer paper is used only to test the device. This paper will arrive in the printer's paper tray. Press the blue Poll Worker button. The display screen will switch, prompting the election judge to enter the poll worker code. Enter your code, then press Create Ballot Access Code on the display screen. The screen will then ask which precinct you are at. Select your precinct. If you select the wrong precinct, the ballot created by the touch writer will not be read by the ballot counter. Once you've selected your precinct, press Yes Print Code on the display screen. A code will print automatically. Enter the printed code and press Accept. The touch writer is now ready for use. Following the instructions on the touch screen, cycle through all of the offices and candidates. Do this using the handheld device and headphones to ensure they are working properly. Do not vote for any candidates. Just cycle through them, ensuring they match what is on the sample ballot. Once you've completed this, press Print, then Yes, Print Ballot. The ballot will begin to print shortly. 
Once the ballot has completed printing, the touch writer will be ready for use. Review the ballot to ensure it matches the sample ballot. Once complete, place the test ballot and the printed access code into the touch writer test ballot envelope. This envelope can be returned into the blue tub at the end of the night. The touch writer is now ready for use. Using the ballot marking device during election day. If a voter notifies the ballot judge that they need to use the ballot marking device, the ballot judge should get the head judge to assist with this process. Once the voter has exchanged a voter's receipt with the ballot judge, the voter will be issued a touch writer ballot. The head judge will take the voter to the touch writer to begin the process. Ensure that touch writer paper stock is loaded into the printer's feed tray. To begin the session, first press the blue poll worker button on the back side of the unit. The display screen will ask the election judge to enter their poll worker code. This is the same code that is listed on the opening and closing instructions. Once the poll worker code is entered, the touch right will ask if you'd like to create an access code. Select Create Ballot Access Code. Then a list of all precincts in the county will appear. Select your precinct. If you select the incorrect precinct, the ballot created by the touch writer will not be read by the ballot counter. Once you verify that the correct precinct has been selected, Press the Print Code button. An access code will print from the touch writer. Remove this printout and enter the printed code on the display screen. Once entered, the touch writer will be ready for the voter to use. Have the voter independently follow the instructions and begin the voting process. The voter has the option to hear instructions while the device is in use. Place the printed access code in the manila envelope labeled Touch Writer Access Codes. Once the voter has finished independently using the touch writer, they will select print on the display screen and the ballot will begin to print automatically. The head judge will notify the voter to place their marked ballot into the ballot counter to be counted. Once the touch writer has finished printing the voter's marked ballot, it will be ready for the next user. Closing the ballot marking device. Once the last voter has finished voting, the head judge can assign two judges to close down the touch writer. To properly close the touch writer, follow the red closing instructions found in the red folder. First, the judges need to verify that the memory card seal number listed on the certification form matches the number on the touch writer's seal. Once confirmed, the judges will power off the unit by pressing the red power button on the back side of the touch writer. Then, turn off the printer. Once the touch writer and printer have completely powered down, remove the printer cord and AC power cord from the two units. Pack the power cord headphones, and printer cord into their compartment on the touch writer. Using the blue key, unlock the tablet, tilt it forward, and remove it from its cradle. Place the tablet into its compartment in the touch writer and lock it in place. Lower the blue latch. Then, unlock the lid braces and close the case of the touch writer. Reach under the stand and pull the lock forward. Remove the touch writer from its stand. Take the black printer off its table and place it in its appropriate case. Pack up the touch writer stand. First, remove the secrecy screens, then turn the stand over to remove the front and back leg attachments. Collapse the touch writer stand and pack it into the carrying bag. Pack the printer table and secrecy screens into the carrying bag as well. The head judge will deliver the touch writer to the elections office with the other materials that need to be returned on election night.